Right, I'm going to try something new. Instead of having everything go in one take and it all being, you know, ham-fisted, I'm going to see if I can edit my videos so that I can be multiple clips put into one. So that's going to be fun. I bring you... Mirage. This is one of the uh, vehicons in the Beast Machine line, which were the only ones anyone was really excited for after so many years of beasts. Oh look, they're finally doing cars again. Great. Even if they are a bit whack. The colors are very much my speed. All dark green and trans blue and yellow. Which people will tell you, oh it's gonna break? And no, it hasn't. It's uh, survived in... It was in spite of all the rumors. All oh, those trans clear plastic, it's gonna break. Except it's not. I love all the detailing on this. It's very much like what a robot from outer space thinks an F1 car looks like. Being as it has these vents over the wheels, rockets, and a huge gun where a driver would sit. Brilliant. And check it out. Obviously these are missiles, but they've worked them to become exhaust pipes. So this could hypothetically be a very interesting hot rod repaint. Right, this thing has a real neat transformation scheme. First off, uh, I'm gonna turn this around to show you that yes, you can do that. It's the kind of thing vehicles do. And uh, let's go. I was a bit careful at first because you no know, clear plastic, and I was led to believe, oh, it's gonna break if you're not careful. And you know, I'm careful anyway, but you know, just don't be stupid and you'll be fine. Yeah, there's a bit of back kibble, but uh, everything else works pretty well. I like how he doesn't really have normal feet, he just does that, that'll do. And before you know it, you've arrived at a, a very interesting robot mode. I say everything's interesting. There you go. How are you? Very much not the traditional Mirage type. And I've had his leg wrong. He's a... Uh, everyone complaining about the new Mirage. Oh, he's so different. Oh, he's not like the old one. Mirage has never been consistent. Like... Time was... Obviously he was this. Then he was a boat and another thing. And then a Ferrari. So... I mean... Go figure. Why not? What's one more completely different one, right? I love the head. It's like a shark and a bullet feud together. I like the, the weirdly wide body frame. It's like movie star scream, except, you know, it doesn't suck. And going on here, you have weirdly prominent blocks on his arms. I don't, I don't know what they're going for there. Possibility is pretty great for such a small guy. Check it out. These are way up high, but I mean, they do work. And these can do everything except tilt, apparently. Like, they can't go this way. They just swivel and do that and everything except what you want, which is kind of funny. You can probably make them do wheels if you're clever, but I'm lazy. And yeah, I like these bits. They can make them glow up and be awkward. Yeah. I believe this did get a repaint in uh, Robots in Disguise as some other character, I'm forgetting the name. But yeah, if you're not scared of this clear plastic stuff, and you want a neat looking uh, F1 car, then I say go for them.